Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today is Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. We've got some giant robot news, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first up is we have our first look at Kang Toys Golden Thunder King. They recently just finished their Thunder King series, all eight figures, and now they've got gold versions. In the list, first we have Ferocious, the Rampaging Lion. I like it. It looks good. And then we have Land Bull, the, well, Headstrong Bull, and Ferment, the bird. I actually, no, I don't have this one. I only have the, I think it's the bull and the lion. So Headstrong and Rampage are the ones I think I've got. And then King Lion. Yeah, Thor, Thorilla. And there's Huge Rhino, and then Dasarius and Rusarius, and yeah, this is nuts, and Poison Crab. I love Poison Crab. That's actually the fists of the combined mode that transform and merge together to form a, form, yeah, form a crab. I love that idea. Yeah, these things are really cool. I just hate them for their complexity. I, I really don't like how complex they are. I understand why they're this complex, and I do appreciate the effort and engineering that went into them. I, I'm just not a fan. I don't have an hour to transform a single figure, let alone I don't know how long it took to actually transform all of these into this giant mode, which is really cool and very Golden Lagoon-esque. I can't argue with the results, though. I mean, the look of the thing is very cool. Like, really cool. It's just, it's a bit much for my taste. But still, it's really cool. Don't get me wrong. I, I know I keep saying that. It is very cool. It's just not for me. Next up, we have actual releases and release dates, kind of, for Studio Series 86 Snarl and Core Class Ironhide. And yay on both of those. I They're both available on the Hasbro Pulse right now for pre-order. Ironhide looks good. It's just a redo of Ratchet. But it looks good. I like it. Yeah, it's a cute little core class figure. And then the one I really want is Snarl. Good lord, I want Snarl so bad. That, oh, just I love the way it looks. I love the robot mode. I love the dino mode. Only complaint with the robot mode is the gaping holes that are in the, that are the feet, but I, honestly, who cares? I mean, just who cares? It's so good, and it comes with a sword, which I greatly appreciate. Yeah, I, I'm going to get this one. Definitely going to get this one. The only thing I find weird is in the bio for Snarl, it says... Snarl and the Autobots must find a way to destroy Unicron before Cybertron is devoured. Okay, he was in like 30 seconds of the movie and then never seen again. Where'd you go, dude? And finally today, we've got our first look at Shattered Glass Grimlock. And then some Evolution Core Class Dinobots. I'm not gonna lie, Shattered Glass Grimlock looks pretty darn good. Let's look at him first. I'm not huge on the Shattered Glass line, but th this is neat. This does look really good. I love the purple chest, the dark coloring for the dark gray, and then the purple, the green, and the gold just flashed around the figure. It's like its own little, well, it's like our own tiny little Trypticon. And yeah, it, it works. It I, I like it. I really do like it. I just... Don't think I'm going to get another one of this figure, even though it's really good. Now, Dinobot core class figures. We've got Scar, who is an Ankylosaurus. Whoops. Wait a minute. Where all? How are the images going? That 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 was weird. Oh, there we go. Scar, Ankylosaurus, in his box. There's a little robot. I love it. I love the way this thing looks. It's tiny, and I love the fact that his tail is the actual fist for the giant robot mode and notice let's go back here notice the gun is he's holding on to it it's a gun off of the top of the fist if memory serves didn't monstructor have fists that had guns on the end of them why yes yes it did according to cliffb.com the monstructor toy review here's the image 
Uh, yeah, it totally did have little guns off the top of the wrist or fists. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty clear we're going to get a monstructor repaint or remold of this combiner set. And I haven't talked about the alt mode. I love the alt mode. It's so tiny and doofy. I just, I love it. It's even got what I think is probably going to be reused as Snarl's head in dino mode. It's a cute little ankle source. Love it. Oh, and yes, the original, I'm sorry, not Monstructor, Dino King from Transformers Victory. And the reason I say Dino King is because those original Dino King figures came in pretender shells that were dinosaurs. So we have, going down the list, Grimlock, Swoop, Sludge, Slag, Snarl, and Scar. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be... Well, you know what? I don't know. It could be a Monstructor that had different shells, or it could be a Dino King. I think they're going to go in the direction of Dino King as opposed to Monstructor. A Monstructor color scheme would be cool, but I think they're going to go with Dino King. And moving on to Swoop. Hello, Swoop. Your robot mode looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. I am, I am here for that robot mode. And it comes with fists as well. Well, it looks like the Ankylosaurus and Swoop are going to be the arms of the giant robot of Volcanicus, of Core Class Volcanicus. Oh, this is so good. This is the best Swoop I've seen in a long time. And, oh, it looks, it's so doofy. <laughs> it's so silly and doofy. I love it. It's tiny and then it's got these giant feet hanging off its back. Very classic transformation for Swoop, but <laughs> it just looks so doofy. I love it. And that's it for the giant robot news. Thank you so much for watching. Just a heads up, I've got Freezer and Battle Trap from Rise of the Beasts toy line en route from the Hasbro Pulse. And they're scheduled to be here this Wednesday, i.e. tomorrow. So I will have reviews of both of those figures up for you by no later than this weekend. As always, be sure to let me know what you think of all this news down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Bolt Matrix, and I'll catch you all next time.